Shalom, Mashpaka. This is Ahamia bin Yahweh at the Wisdom Praise of Yahweh. I just wanted to give a little apology. Uh, last Arav Shabbat, I had mentioned that I would probably do a service on Shabbat day. And um, I wasn't able to follow up. Um, Two things, I had an issue with my phone uploading the last video. It took a little longer. I needed to clean some stuff off it before I could use it again. And I had a young Ock that was in town from Georgia. Um, he had called me up and, um, or I texted him, I can't remember. And he wanted to hook up and, um, he wanted to do some praise and worship and have some study together. So I agreed to do that since it was going to be so late of a start. And we had a good fellowship. We had some good praise all to the most high. And um, there's just been various different things that have been going on. And he's really connected with our family. And so there's some other issues that are going on that um, we've been trying to pray to the most high and get the bugs worked out um, with some family members and some friends, just trying to get um, unity. And um, so I've been in the middle trying to do some ministry ministering to some of these individuals and my wife also and um, as I said she has a real bad bruise in her chest um, I've been trying to serve and minister unto her as far as taking care of her and so it's been various different things in a good way Mashpaka you know, like the old saying, no pain, no gain. But what I wanted to talk about tonight, and I'm going to play this song because this song came to me. Uh, I written it, I think, in the beginning of the pandemic, and I never really got to finishing it. But the reason I want to play this song, it's not a worship song, but it talks about a lot of our history of what we went through. And some of the things that I've been been seeing with the individuals I've been ministering to, it comes from some of these curses. It comes from some of the things that our ancestors have passed down to us. And so if you don't understand the things that happened in the past, you won't understand how to go about the healing that needs to take place because it's a, it, it makes a lot of people blame one another for everything. And I'm not saying that to get people off the hook on certain things that they are guilty of, but some things we do out of ignorance or how we've been brought up and it just comes out to be automatic. It's like a reflex, you know, someone throws you a ball and you reach up your hand and you grab the ball or you catch it. So until we know and understand certain things we can't really correct our our situation so we can get the healing we need and so as we're going into this time of the feast of the trumpets shofars we're dealing with war we're dealing with serious warfare right now you know and um we're dealing with lies we're dealing with some real serious lies. It's always been the lie. But this is what the Most High has been showing me. It's the lie that's causing all the confusion. It's the wars and wars and rumors of wars. Um, all of these various different things. You know, and we can't be how could I say this? We can't be um, jumping to everything we hear and believing it. We have to discern it. 
you know, every orange skin, bleach blonde hair, blue eyed lie that comes to you, you have to discern it. And it bothers me because I see people, they, they can't even see through the lies that Hasatan is using all around. It's like right there. And um, it just seems like they're blind or they want to cover up. Either way, it puts you in a bad spot as a believer. We have to call it what it is, it's a lie. So anyways, that being said and done, I just wanted to make that apology and um, I'm gonna sound the shofar after I blow this, after I play this song, I'm gonna blow the shofar and um, we're just gonna close it out. It's nothing, it's, it's nothing special where we're gonna get in the word or anything like that. Um, I just felt that I needed to let people know what's going on. I, I try to keep my word. I know I said y'all willing, but I was ready to do it that day, but I had a few issues going on. And so because there's so many other things that are going on, it kind of delays me from the time that I, that I have to prepare to get things more right. <clears throat> and my wife doesn't know anything about some of this technical stuff, hooking up stuff, doing this, doing that. So I'm pretty much the one that's doing all of this when it comes to this end. And even if she did, she hasn't been in the right health to do it and she had another procedure the week before where they had to put her in anesthesia so it's just been some things going on Mashbaka. but it's all good in the most high I see um, I see victory coming out I see light at the end of the tunnel already and I know there's progress taking place and so I only can say so much because I don't want to implement certain people and have them on blast. Um, but at the same time, I just want to let you guys know what's up. And so um, I'm going to play this. And it just it just talks about why our people respond the way they do in certain situations or why they do certain things that they do and so you always hear me talk about the Torah and the Torah is the instructions the pathways the boundaries the insights instruction all of this different stuff and so that is my purpose is to present that plant seeds, encourage one another, and hope that each one will take the seeds and that the Most High will rejuvenate them or activate their nafash, their soul, that they will um, just move, that the Ruach will move upon them. Because we're in the days of Akarit, Yahamin, which is in the last days. And so we're in these la latter times. We're living in the latter days. We're living in these last times. We see things unfolding right before our eyes. Things are just happening. Um, I think it was just Friday, a uh, place where I go get my tires put on my car. There's a mechanic shop next to it. Uh, my son sent me a video I clicked it on and a man, uh, two people were shot. I One was dead. Um, the other one, they said he was still breathing when the, the medical, the paramedics that came and picked him up. And, um, but I don't know what happened after that. I don't know if the person made it or not, but it was some kind of dispute um, with his car. I don't know if he was unhappy with the work that the mechanics did or whatever the case, but it was some gunfire that went up there in broad daylight. And um, so things are just popping off all over Mashpaka, just all over. You know, there was a, my grandson, he drives, he was telling me a week and a half, two weeks ago about a black man, and I think it was in North Carolina, was hung, he worked at a Walmart. So things are coming out, things are coming out. 
and the orange skin, bleach blonde, blue eyed lie. Hasatan is behind a lot of this stuff. It's escalating. People are coming out of the woodwork. So I'm going to play this and then we're going to sound the shofar and I'm going to end it out. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. This is Akahami reaching out to you. To the east side, to the west side, to the north side, to the south side. Above and below for sure. I want to help you get that Torah way deep down in your soul. I blow spitting in a trap rap form, different level platform. Reborn and transformed and made new. The enemy got game that's called tick trick tack jack your soul. Catch a Jane or John, don't drop him six feet deep, blow on a hole. Six tall call bears casket held at the funeral. Three on each side, single foul, straight up in a row. Yo, an outburst, mama crying, why they had to go. It's a sad thing for sure. Cope with them curses I know we reap in the sin that our ancestors had sown it's all been foretold in Torah prophetic true that I know I'm a blood-bought Hebrew Israelite I'm a beacon of light in the spiritual fight arrows coming at me morning moon and night operation breeze night with all power and might Brothers on the move, bandana down, lit from the dome down. No beams, four deep, creeping AK Glock 9 on the strap down. Curses playing in real time, live in effect now. Prophetic foretold is about to unfold straight up downtown. Black on black, lost identity, sanitary lockdown. No time to relax now, my people are filling up the ground down. Petty pushing nickel bags, ounces, kilos to the pounds down. Operation Jacob, wake up, time to get your crown now. I'm a blood Hebrew I'm a beacon of light in the spiritual fight. Arrows coming at me morning, noon, and night. Operation Bruce Unite with all power and might. I'm a blood bought Hebrew Israelite. I'm a beacon of light in the spiritual fight. Arrows coming at me morning, noon, and night. Operation Bruce Unite with all power and might. Nothing is new under the sun, Miss Boka. White supremacy is in high places, lurking privately on the most highest people, oppressing us with poverty and drugs and liquor stores and Hellenistic churches on and about every street corner, coming correct and direct with ancient black historical facts. America has been built off the blood, sweat, tears of backs of blacks from ships to shacks, slum hoods, ghetto slipping through cracks, unarmed shot down for skittle super balls and jacks, clicks and clacks, KKK supremacy attacks, and apology discrimination on spitting facts and stats. Deuteronomy 28 through 68 It's time to regulate and reverse the curse From them flames aimed from them gaps I'm a blood You see our ancestors were placed on ships And busted And emasculated and forced and removed From his and her native homeland With yokes placed upon their necks Our people were whipped and raped And called monkeys and apes Put into captivity of the United Snakes of America It predates And controlled by Hellenistic Babylonian and Gentile Empire that will soon expire in the lake of fire. And when you talk about this, people say that's in the past. Well, it's not the same anymore. But I have news for you. It's still lurking today. It is prevalent today. It's happening right now as I speak. So we must be wise to Hasatan devices, lest he be having advantage of us. Hallelujah. I'm a blood bought Hebrew Israelite. I'm a beacon of light in the spiritual fight. Arrows coming at me morning, noon, and night. Operation Bruce Unite with all power in mind. I'm a blood bought Hebrew Israelite. I'm a beacon of light in the spiritual fight. Arrows coming at me morning, noon, and night. Operation Bruce Unite with all power in mind. Blood bought Hebrew Israelite. Hallelujah. Weapons coming at me morning, noon, and night. Operation Bruise Unite with all power and might in the spirit. Not by physical weapons, but spiritual weapons. This is my modern day get. This is my spiritual weapon right here. 
So as I get ready to sound the shofar, as I said, we're in battle and we're up against the great lie. But we know that truth prevails over the lies. We know that he whom the Son sets free is free indeed, and the truth will set you free. Hallelujah. We know that his word is true. We know that his word will not return empty, but it will do what it is sent out to do. It will not return void, but it will do what it is sent out to do. That if any tongue rise up against us, the Most High Yah will condemn it. But we know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and we are more than conquerors through Hamashiach. Hallelujah. And so we exercise our truth. We exercise the power that he has given us that we possess by crying out to him, humbling ourselves before him and crying out to him. So as I sound this shofar, as I'm talking right now, go gather yours and let's sound them together and let's get ready for this battle. Let's prepare to get our hearts right before the Most High as we enter into Yom Kippur that we will be atoned, that we will let our master know that without him we cannot do anything, that we need his covering, we need his um, atonement, and we need his power in days such as now. We need his power like never before because we can see these things happening right now. He said all things are possible through Hamashiach who strengthens us. But we must know that whatever ridicule we go through, whatever um, punishment that Hasi and his posse, his demons, his devils, principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and wicked and evil spirits that try to come against us, we know that we serve the most high almighty one who will shelter us under his wings that he will fight our battles, that he will give us justice, and that vengeance is his, that he will repay the enemies. So I'm gonna send out a disclaimer for the enemies. If you wanna get right, you better try to grab hold of Yasharal. You better try to grab hold of Most Yah and his people. You better repent. You better seek him why you can yet be found because things are happening. People are being taken out at a, at a blink of an eye. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. So I'm going to sound this shofar. You can pray. I already had said a prayer with my wife. And I already believe what's going to happen. The strongholds are going to be broken on individuals' lives that need to be broken and we are gonna have more discernment. His people will have more discernment to see the lie, to expose the lie, to put out the lie. Hallelujah. And I'm gonna sound it towards you guys.
Most High Yah, for His mercy endures forever. He is told He is good all the time. All the time He is good. Taste and see that the Most High Yah is good. Believe in your prayers. Believe in the shofar. I put that towards you so you can stand in front of it and do it again. Ba'ak that came here last week, I blew the shofar over him and he said, yeah, I felt something when he did that. Shofar is powerful. It is the voice to the Most High Yah. Keep your head up, Mashbaka. Keep your head up, true seekers. And just believe all things are possible through Hamashiach. We are entering into a time of war. It's time to put on the whole armor of the Most High Yah. Make sure you got that Allah up on you, that you have that strength, that you are carrying Him, and that you have the mind of Hamashiach, and that you got that Torah to know that you're walking in the right direction and His pathways, His guidelines, His instruction, and His, his boundaries, His insights. And I just say, Shalom, 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 and I say Shalom, all you from the east to the west to the north to the south, above and below.